this video we're going to go through just the uh, laying out process of your web store of your e-store so we got a shop I've, this is my Shopify store as everyone kind of knows by now grabfrenzy.com it's just a very generic store I use to test products and um, there's not much customization that's been done to this store it's basically a very simple free theme on Shopify and you can pick any any theme you'd like and on first glance they may look really simplistic with nothing really there but the only customization I've done on this store, the only things that I've added manually have been this logo here, which I've, it's just simple text, which I've done on Photoshop, and a wallpaper, which I found a free wallpaper with a bit of text and some flags, right, to kind of show that I, I ship worldwide, because these are some of the countries that I, I market to, so I want them to know straight off the bat that, hey, look, I, I ship to your country. And these are... Uh, little images that are kind of populated by themselves once you start adding products and collections. Collections are just a basic, another word for categories. So once you start adding categories and your products and you have images for your products, uh, featured images, and they're going to appear here. So this is just the front page. It doesn't have to look amazing, right? Um, like I said before, it's just two big, two images here. One's a, a, a bit of a logo type thing and another, another is just a, a wallpaper and everything else is pretty much auto populated. So if you want to make your store kind of look um, great, you can take that extra time and, and, and not add all the little features and stuff and make it look beautiful. But at the end of the day, the main thing that's going to appeal to people is a, a, a somewhat good, good look. And these um, pages here, they want to see an about us, a contact us, they want to see a return policy, a shipping policy. They're all indicators of a legitimate website. And... If you've got that, then if you've got that and uh, just a somewhat good looking store, then you, you're pretty much good to go. So what I've done is uh, I've set out the theme like that. I've added just the basic pages and and I'm, that's pretty much it. It took me, I think, maybe 20 minutes to do all that and I, I, that's it. I just started advertising. So again, I don't really take too long to... To set up everything, my method, my methodology is to kind of do the bare minimum, apply the 80-20 rule, and do 80% of the tasks that, or or, or do the 20% of the tasks that contribute to 80% of the results. I can go ahead and do the 80% of the tasks that maybe contribute one to two percent, but they're just more time consuming than they are effective. So um, yeah, when it comes to doing a layout, don't spend too much time. It's more the product that people are looking for. At the end of the day, people are going to be taken to the product page. They're, they're not really going to click the home page anyway. So you want to make sure your product page, nice, descriptive. It has big pictures. It's got this kind of a um, countdown timer, a bit of a description as to what's going on. And you've got your, your pages intact.